Welcome back to Love Bachelor, the Bachelor podcast you never asked for. And I'm one of your hosts, Gina Schwartz, sitting across from me. She's wearing lilac and black, which makes her fat. What? With a P. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> fat. <laughs> I was like, Whoa. It's Fat Amy Duro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I call myself it is. that so twig bitches like you don't do it behind my back. <laughs> you call yourself fat Amy? <laughs> How are you going, Amy? Uh, Tell me. What's new? Gina, I just had apricots, watermelon, and strawberry for breakfast. Okay. And it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't a chocolate croissant. No. It wasn't. You know what I mean? I do. I really do. Are you even full <laughs> no, after that? No. I'm still very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> See, you know I want what? A frappe. Yes. You know what I don't get? Mm. These people that I'm like, I'm having yogurt and strawberries for breakfast. I'm like, why? You're still starving. That's like the entree to your breakfast. <laughs> yes. I hate that. Yeah, no one has fruit salad for breakfast. I just had that because I knew I wasn't going to have time to eat yes. before recording this morning. Because it's the morning. It is the morn. And we somehow got here. Yes, it's true. Ick. Disgusting. Gina. Yes. Do I ask how you are? Oh, look, I'll tell you, not fucking good. (laughs) But not only that, Mm. I've discovered a phenomenon. Yes. Ready? You're ready for it? It's called post-pill acne. Uh, And everyone is keeping this a secret. Yep. I'm in full form. I look like someone... (laughs) Is going to try and sell drugs to your kids under a bridge. Like, and I, would I- say at least, like, it's a high end area. It's not like a bad bridge, you know? Okay, thank you. It's like the Victorian bridge. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I am so, I've like, once I looked it up, everyone's like, yeah, like, it's pretty it's common. It's a thing, like, everyone knows. <laughs> I'm like, well, why isn't anyone talking about it? <laughs> I'd like to know. Yes, truly. So I went off the pill because I wasn't having sex Mm. and I was like, let's save some money. And now that I'm off the pill, the universe has gone, now no one wants to have sex with you. (laughs) So It it works. The system works. (laughs) So here we are. Um, Amy. Gina. We've got a bachelor podcast. It's true. We better talk about people falling in love, yeah. even if it isn't us. Yeah, I don't want to, actually. <laughs> I think I just want to call it a day. Yeah, all right. Let's yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay, spoilers ahead. Don't listen to this. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Amy, do you have <clears throat> a 30-second recap? Oh, roundabout. <laughs> okay. I would say. Well, let's see I how never roundabout test them before. I and just write it and hope why for the should best. You? you know? I am perfect, so yes. I don't want to waste my time. Mm, mm-hmm. I understand. Mm-hmm. Quite right. All right, you have 30 seconds on the clock. The time Mm. starts now. This week, Channel 10 delivered us three episodes instead of two with no warning. I'd like to start a petition for Channel 10 to work on that communication. Holly and David got the final single dates, and I think we all know David's got this one in the bag, but we'll, of course, keep watching to get a definitive answer. Kurt said some dopey things and was sent home, but thank God he at least outlasted Luca. Another bombshell was dropped leading into finals week that Holly and Brooke's plans for family don't align. Brooke had a bit of a meltdown because up until then, Holly was obviously the female frontrunner. However, it was Conrad and his uncertain plans for the future that proved too risky for Brooke, who, in the upset of the year, sent Conrad home after hometowns. David, Holly and Jamie Lee remain in the battle for Brooke's heart. Oh, without that last sentence, uh, you would have been 29 seconds, but you had 31, so well, that's all right. Yeah, we had know. three episodes. Three episodes. Hey, Channel 10, can you <sighs> fucking stop? I'm not, like, obviously, because we had one last week, they were like, yeah, we'll just chuck three on this week. You have to let us know. Where is the communication? <laughs> Toxic. Toxic. Yeah. Unwarranted, not cool. Hate it. Hate first it highlight, first episode, go on. Well, it's obviously um, Holly getting the first, second date. Oh, I know. A little bit interesting. It's a bit, a bit saucy. And the date itself? Amazing. Beautiful. So cute. We love to see it. So, obviously, you have seen the episode if you're listening, but if your memory has betrayed you, uh, Brooke and Holly went on a bit of a weaving date, like a traditional Mm. weaving date, um, something that Brooke wanted to do, I guess, to kind of, I don't know, celebrate her culture is the right word, Mm. but just to kind of get more in touch with it. Um, And introduce 
a potential partner to that culture yes. as well. Yeah. You know, I thought that was really beautiful. And they had, was it called fabrics from each of their yes. countries? Yeah. I thought that was, oh, so beautiful. But I know why Holly got that first single day. Okay. Because Brooke said this is women's business, so she couldn't take a man. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, traditionally, culturally, she couldn't bring a man to that. And she wasn't going to take Jamie oh. Lee because obvious. <laughs> because obviously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Mm. Okay. So All I right, think I if it you. wasn't the weaving date, she might have taken someone else. Yeah. But I wonder if she could have just, you know, turned the tables and then taken da- David on the, like, the date that he ended up going on. However, oh, yeah. maybe she wanted to give David the last single date. Yeah. Well, maybe she didn't know. I don't know how these things work, Amy. I don't, I don't know anyone's brain. No, me either. I'll yeah. tell you, though, Holly talking about Brooke meeting her mum, mm. special moment. Mm. I thought that's a bit cute. Yes. You know, it's always a nice moment in the relationship when someone goes, oh, you know, how would you feel about meeting the family? You're like, ha I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I have no, no. family. <laughs> no. Um, well, don't say that too loudly. Brooke doesn't. Sorry, Brooke. <laughs> I know you listen to the podcast. Didn't yes. mean that in. Um, no. Didn't mean that to hurt your feelings there. No, not at all. No. Exactly. Another one from you. Another one. Um, y- going off. Wait, that's a low light. Ignore. Okay. Uh, they're having a conversation. They <laughs> are. And Brooke. Many conversations actually. Mm. And Brooke says something along the lines of, "You'll have to fall in love with me first. And Holly says, "I don't think it'll be that hard. Oh, <laughs> I know. Hello, Casanova. <laughs> Another one from Holly. Yes. I'm Brooke's lady in red. No one else's. Mm -hmm. And then straight off that, I could kiss you all day. Oh. Uh, Go on. (laughs) Holly, I think you might. I think you should. Yes. Go on. I love Holly's confidence. Oh, yeah. But also. a woman. It's not arrogance. No. Or overtly confident. It's just quiet. It's humble. It's modest. Yes. It just Beautiful. comes from like a place of assuredness. Mm. She's like, "This is who I am. It's pretty good." Yeah, <laughs> take it. She's she's good. She's, she's good quality. something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, last highlight from their date I have mm. um, is when Brooke is talking about, I guess, what a what a relationship does for her in her life, and she says, "I think I've filled all my pieces. I think typically the last step is finding someone to fit that final piece." Mm. And I was like, "That's." really lovely that you're talking about you you being you know a whole person and a refined person you just have this one other piece that can only be you know this not completed but yeah it requires another person yeah to finish the puzzle yeah it's like yeah i know i know what you're saying yeah yeah, yeah. And i agree i i um, made me feel very lonely <laughs> hit you in the feels did it yeah. I hate it here. Gina. <laughs> I don't actually know the lyrics. Oh, me either. <laughs> What's another highlight from you? I've got nothing else from that date. Oh, no, of course not. <laughs> okay. So we're coming into the date with the kids. Indeed. First off, amazing. Who was ever thinking of these dates? Oh, I love them. First um, highlight for me, mm. Kurt. I've yes. just come from remote central Australia working with kids. <laughs> As if I couldn't love that man more. <laughs> Gina, I've just looked over at your notes and um, why is the heading soy milk? <laughs> um, that's because I don't make new notes. I just put notes in notes. <laughs> So it is soy milk. And soy that milk was- indeed. <laughs> um, I love Kurt. I love him. What a lovable goofball, <laughs> truly. He's, he just came from remote central Australia. Working with the kiddos. What? Can I say, those mm. kids were smooth with the egg races. Yes. Wasn't that an art? Yes, yes. Jesus. I love a good egg and spoon race. Bring oh, it back. Bring it back. What's with uh, people like, oh, we're too old. Oh, it's kids games. Like, I'm sorry. Do you hate yourself? Mm. Do you hate fun? What's wrong yes. with you? Do you hate eggs? Yeah. Because I don't really like eggs, but I'll do I'll an egg play and spoon it. race. Yeah. Big time. Yes, yes. Um, Men with kids. Yeah. It's hot. 
Kurt with Miller. Oh. Don't. Mm. Don't even. Also, I, I warmed up to Luca. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I was like, it's all for show. No, but he works with kids I and he's a him. teacher. Yeah, dumb. Well, I don't like him. I didn't. He has the condescending teacher voice. That's why oh, I didn't like. It's like that. I understand. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Yeah, yeah. I hate that. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> I do. I also hate that. But you know, I could tell he meant well and he was trying. Yeah. And the kid was wasn't like fuck this guy. You know yeah, what I mean? He was like, okay, this dude's all right. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's encouragement. Fair, fair that's all right. Mm-hmm. You know. Um. Another one from you. Another one from me. So Kurt getting the alone time at the end of the day. Great call on Brooke's behalf, yes. number one. I loved to see a bit more confidence from Kurt oh, too. Oh, I know. He was like, mm. okay, he was like, I kind of got a little bit of a chance here. The way that he went in for his kiss with Brooke, I my <laughs> pants dropped. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot tell you how emotional. Oh, my God. And by emotional, I mean sexually Sexually emotional. <laughs> I became. <laughs> Kurt playing with Brooke's hair. I um I'm feeling things. <laughs> oh my god. And then Kurt saying that vows are special. He's so Kurt. wholesome. Kurt, where do you live? <laughs> where is he from? I don't know. I don't know because I stalked him on the Instagram. Me also. And he had some pictures in WA, but that's maybe when he was working in remote central Uh, Australia. With the kids. With the kids. And it doesn't say where he's from on his old Instagram. No, because it just says, you know, I'm, my name's Kurt and I'm being whatever by whatever. (laughs) God damn it. Oh my God, I just showed. He's so hot. Gina, a photo of Kurt. Getting out of a pool, <laughs> he has a legitimate six pack. It's it's very hot. What and is then, going on? <laughs> what? I'm just very into him. <laughs> yes, same. Find out where he lives, and it better be Brisbane. Okay. Um. Also, last thing I'll say about Kurt Please. for this episode, at least, mm. I think I'm falling for her a little bit. Oh God, I just he's just too sweet, and he's honest, yeah. and he's humble, and he's good with kids. It'd be difficult too because he never got a single date. I know. And so you put yourself in that position and you're like, I'm getting this, you know, little bit of alone time though. Of course you're going to start getting a crush. It's mm. like, oh, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay. Another one. Another one. Moving on to the cocktail party. Mm-hmm. That red dress. Oh, on Brooke, stunning. she was like a bouquet. <laughs> Ring a ding ding. <laughs> it was very Valentino esque. Oh like yes, couture runway. Mm. <laughs> I uh, yes. I wish I was Brooke. I wish I was Brooke. <sighs> I know. Damn it. But here we are with post pill acne. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, D- David sending Brooke flowers. And while Will was having oh, single I know. time with her. I mean, her? sorry, Will. Sorry, Will. He'd just given her a ring. I know. And David's like, these flowers, though. <laughs> but it's it's honestly the sort that counts. Like, you know, we had, what's her name, Jamie Lee, putting her on an actual pedestal and giving her this whole spiel. And then we had a few pieces of jewellery. Mm-hmm. And it's all very beautiful. But all it's all about the flowers. Mm-hmm. You know, and Mm -hmm. I think this goes to show viewers, listeners. (laughs) Listen up, men. (laughs) That it's not about how much you pay. We don't want a thousand dollar diamond ring. Well, I do, but continue. (laughs) (laughs) But, you know, all it took was David sending flowers because it was like, it was it was cute. It didn't have much on the card. It was like from your secret admirer, like <laughs> classic. You know, that's all it takes. Yeah, men are stupid. <laughs> men are dumb. You want to give me something sentimental? Uh uh-uh. uh. No flowers. Just be. flowers. <laughs> Do you have any more highlights from that first episode, Gina? Yes, please. Okay. Brooke likes to be chased. That's what David says. Good. Good observation. And here, I'll give you something else to think about. Who fucking doesn't? (laughs) No, seriously. I think the nice thing about being chased is that you are not the one doing the cardio. 
I don't want to chase. <laughs> I just wish to be chased. You know what I mean? I do understand. Mm. Yes, but ser- uh, but like good good observation by David, mm. and he followed through, didn't he? Yes, he did. Mm-hmm. And finally, from Conrad, gender reveal nails. <laughs> Congratulations. That's so funny. Hip, hip, hooray. Yes. <laughs> it's uh, You're going home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've got I've up to the second episode. All right. Second episode. Bam. Kurt's back in town. This quote, I suck at art. Yes. That was, <laughs> that was my first one too. I absolutely <laughs> suck at art. <laughs> And he's so deadpan because he's so genuine. Know, yes. He's not saying it as a joke. He's, he's genuinely like, oh, like I, I'm not good. <laughs> I'm not good. I know. <laughs> oh, but it was so cute. Yeah. Um, another highlight from me, Gina. Yes. How would you control yourself as a potential suitor to a Baroque? No. And she is sitting a naked in a blankie Mm-mm. in Mm-mm. front of you. Mm-mm. I simply could not. I could not. <laughs> I could not. She no. looked effervescent. Uh, that's not how you say it, but no, eff- it is. Yeah, effervescent. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. She, she looked radiant. I, she I, was. I have no words. There are none. There are no words. She looked sensational. Truly, and she always does. But this was like holy fuck. Holy fuck. I don't know how men work with their erections, mm. but surely they would have had them. Surely. Surely. Like, what do you do? What what, what happens when you're erect <laughs> and you're wearing pants? I don't know. Is that uncomfortable? Phone in. Phone in. <laughs> Let us know. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking about erections a lot. Moving this- on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought it was really cute that everyone was being really serious and sensitive mm. about it all. Like, you know, we had a few giggles from Kirk because he can't do art. Mm. But other than that, they were, like, really taking it seriously. They really, like, everyone. Yes. I feel like most of the time, maybe the final four really care, but mm. not the final six. Yeah. Wild that they were all like, okay, this is important. Yeah. I'm going to do my best. Yes. Isn't that interesting? And I feel like it's a reflection of Brooke too. Yes, because she was like, this is fucking serious. Don't you fucking... Yeah. Also, Brooke saying this isn't about the sexualization of a woman's body. Absolutely. Mm. Yes. Mm. Thank think, you. Yes, thank you. Mm. I, I also think that's another reason why everyone took it very seriously because they mm. didn't want to offend her or be, the, you know draw some titties or yes yeah you know. for sure <sighs> uh brooke calling kurt kurti and then him having to ask how to make the color gray i know <laughs> <laughs> but honestly i was like how do you make the color gray <laughs> does it not just be yeah <laughs> and then when he did the the camera the interview to camera mm-hmm. And he was talking about how to make colours and he d- couldn't figure out how to make, was it green or blue or Yellow. something? Yellow. Yellow, yeah. <laughs> but, then, but then I was also like, fuck, it's been that long. I don't know if I know how to. I had to think about it. I like know. I had to stop and I was like, what is it? The only reason I knew he was wrong in what he was saying is because he named two primary colours. Yeah, and he yellow said is- red and something else. Mm. I green? feel like he said like yeah red and green or red and blue and yeah. I was like that's definitely that's not, not right. <laughs> <laughs> but good on you. Great. Good on you. Good on you. My next one mm. is Conrad. Yes. <laughs> when um well no not yet. But yes. Yes. When um Holly was showing her art and he said, "Oh god, stop it, Holly." <laughs> this whole thing it was like so good. Yeah. Uh, it must have been hard. To watch all of their interactions. I would have internally been, would have wanted I to die. I externally would have. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would have been like, you're all so great, but go fuck yourselves. Yeah. What a like, oh my gosh, in a turmoil. In a turmoil. You would be so insecure. I'm fucked up. Oh, heck. I've got another one, Kurt, talking about David. Silver-tongued devil. <laughs> <laughs> I love Kurt. I love Kurt. Um, Conrad's painting, oh, the silhouette my of Brooke and then the painting God. within it. Are you kidding me? And he was like, oh, it's a pretty basic. Like, I know. I was like, sir. Sir? Are I, you, I, 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 uh, if that's basic, I, I want the simple, like, give it 
Yeah. I want to I want to see the complex edition. The <laughs> the amount of detail, thought. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Heck. Delicious. And then Brooke was getting a bit emotional. He's like, you are so beautiful when you cry. <laughs> Fuck my life. I was like... I- I'll kill myself. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll see myself out. Thank <laughs> you. And Conrad saying, Brooke's fruit is her heart that she gives to people. Poet. What are you po- doing? Poet. Get out of here, Nicholas Hello? Sparks. Yes. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Yuck. What do you mean? <laughs> And then Brooke oh. saying that she's captivated by Conrad. Oh. Uh. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. also says to him, Ham. She says Ham. to Ham, look how sexy you are. You're so handsome. I know. Oh my, can someone tell me I'm handsome? <laughs> I just like the sexual chemistry. I wish they would have fucked. I really would have loved to have seen that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. Gina would have liked to have watched that. <laughs> oh, heck. <laughs> I've got one. Uh, David. Mm. This is from the next episode, I think. Yes. Uh, David putting one finger beneath Brooke's chin and lifting it up to kiss her. <laughs> 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 I am unwell. I am unwell. Um, I've got one more highlight from that other episode. Sorry, yes. And it's when Conrad and Kurt are chatting and Kurt's like, I think you're a pretty good bloke. I think you're a stunner to Conrad. (laughs) Gorgeous. More of this. Yes. Like, what's the opposite of toxic? Positive. Safe. (laughs) There's safe masculinity. (laughs) Positive masculinity. We need it. Yeah. Nice. Um, you've got another one from the second episode? Um, they all blended into one, to yeah, be fair. Yeah, they do blend in, don't they? No, I've got quite a few low lights from the end of the second episode. Um, oh, are we going... Oh. Do you have any more from second? Wait, the highlights? Yeah. Yes, okay. Please. Let me go through them. Yes. Okay, so... <laughs> So it's uh, after David and Brooke have their date. Mm-hmm. We flash back to the mansion. There's Conrad and Kurt. They're sipping, having a drink of wine. And then they're saying, what? Well, oh, top six. And Kurt says, well, hopefully top five if Dav doesn't come back. And Conrad <laughs> says, well, hopefully he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry, boys. Gestures. <laughs> And then I thought this was a very insightful thought by one Brooke Blurton mm-hmm. um, talking about Conrad. Yes. She says, it sounds like he's glamorizing our lives oh. outside of the mansion. Whoa. Very, very. Look. That was a big hot take. She, yeah, it was a hot take, mm-hmm. wasn't it? Mm-hmm. I thought, I mean, I do think she's smart, but that was like, you've got your head screwed on. Yeah. You know what you're doing here. Yeah. Um, Kurt. Don't. <laughs> Don't, Jenna. I refuse. <laughs> Leaving like a gentleman. Stop it. Like a gentleman. I didn't know if to talk about that yet or not because I wasn't sure if I was ready. Yeah, I thought he's so cute. Um, And him being like, oh, well, I'll see you soon. Oh, oh maybe. maybe. I mean. <laughs> talk uh, to you later. Oh, oh. maybe. <laughs> Catch up for a coffee. Uh, maybe. If you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Pause I in your court. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Women. Okay, that's all I have. Uh, God, I love him. I love him. And I got to tell you, after mm. that happened, I got a voice um, recording from my <laughs> sister. Yes, what did she say? And it was just like, hey, Amy, um, I just think you should get in contact. And it sounded really serious. And I was like, oh, my God. I was like, something's uh, happened. She was like, yeah. I think you should get in contact with Kurt from The Bachelorette. I just think you guys would be good together. All right, see ya. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Thanks for that. She's not wrong. No. Well, one of us has to get in contact with him and I think it should be me. Well, one of (laughs) us gets Conrad and one of us gets Kurt. No. I think I'd rather Kurt. I don't know. To be real with you. We'll talk about that later. Okay. We'll have a serious discussion about who gets who after the the recording. Yeah, okay. Great. (laughs) Uh, Okay. First highlight for me. Mm. From our uh, third episode. Hometowns. This is actually regarding Jamie Lee. And she says, I'm falling in love with Brooke. It's such a nice feeling. I forgot what this is like. 
That is such a relatable <laughs> no. feeling. Oh, when you rip. actually start to feel warm. feelings, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and you're like, oh, 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 I, I didn't think I would ever feel again. Yeah, and yeah, here I am. Here we are. Yes, and it's funny. This is about love. Mm. It's the same feeling, but it's not. Every time it's different, but it's the same. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Because yes, you're like, this is a familiar feeling, but it's not like it was the other time. Yeah. What a funny thing. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it here. I hate it. Mm. I've got nothing for Jamie Lee. Great. Or anyone else except for Conrad. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I've actually got quite a few lowlights from this episode. So please hit me with a highlight for about Conrad. Okay. He says after... The date, they're kissing, as mm. they want to do. Delicious. Mm. He says, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> oh, my. I love that. I love that. <gasps> oh. <laughs> also, he was like, you know when you talk and then you kiss between the talking? Uh, I'm going to I? kill myself. <laughs> Gina, I think you've said that too many times this episode. I think we have indeed reached the quiet. Okay, fine. All right. <laughs> Producer I will Zane cry about the it. There you go. Is that better? It's not as effective, is it? Okay. Yes, see, exactly. Well, <laughs> that's all I have. Those are all my highlights. Go on. Oh, wow. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't have too many. But David saying, I'm so smitten with you mm. to Brooke. Mm. And then she says off camera, I'm so smitten by David. Mm. I'm like, it's obviously him. It's obviously. It's obviously him yeah it's she's not doing a good job of like <sighs> oh who's it gonna be it's gonna be because everyone has to have an issue yeah his issue is that he lives in a different state uh, but, that's, we'll get to that in uh, predictions yeah all right yeah okay anything um, else no nah. that's it low light we're done oh oh <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah go on give us one i only want to <laughs> sorry what was that sorry just going back to the first episode oh. millie cheated <laughs> really cheated. I don't know if she cheated. She just wasn't being like a um, she fair was, sport. She to wasn't the kids. a team player. No, no, no. I was a little bit like, bro, <laughs> you're being a little bit too competitive. Yes. There's kids. Yeah. Calm the fuck down. There are children who are about seven. Yes. And you are a full grown adult. It's true. Let's have some self analysis. Let's here. maybe not push the kids. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes. And yeah. when I was watching last week when they were like, oh, next week on the episode, Millie might get too competitive. I was like, yeah, okay, like fake news. Let's yeah. get over it. Yeah. And then I watched the episode. I was like, oh, no, that's real news. <laughs> that's, Millie, what the fuck? That's real news. Yeah. Like, it, it wasn't to a point where I was like, oh, my God, this is uncomfortable to watch. But it was just like a... Oh. But even Millie said, she was like, I think I may have got too competitive. Yeah. So she had that, you know, she had the capacity to think that, just not in the moment. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Uh, next low light, Gina. No. Okay. I will. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know where you are at, Please. but I'm at the cocktail party. Absolutely. <sighs> Putting Brooke on an actual pedestal. <laughs> yeah. So disgusting. So weird. So cringy. And honestly, I was like, this is a literal visual representation of what Jamie Lee is doing. I was yeah. like, yes, Brooke is gorgeous, but you are putting her on a pedestal and that's very unhealthy to do yeah i was thinking with a partner yeah and she was like you'll always be on a pedestal for me i'm like babe why would i want that yeah why would i want that if someone said that to me i was like oh great so i have to tiptoe around you in case i do something yeah wrong? like i'm not your hero no i'm not superman i should mm -mm. be your equal mm -mm. not and i think she was like still trying to F like make up woo her yeah yes. but I'm like I don't, if this is your way of doing it I don't like it and uh -uh. I don't think Brooke did either I think she was a bit uncomfortable yeah because mm -hmm. it is uncomfortable particularly if someone's having a genuine conversation with you but you've been like raised up you know I was going to say six feet that's a lot six inches um, that's like that's much. weird that's weird <laughs> I'm just thinking of like a subway Six inch sub. Yeah, okay. So you're I'm like, right. that's probably about the height of the pedestal. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you there. Yeah, nice. Uh I only have one more low light from this episode. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me let me um <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, no. let me uh, Okay. Conrad. Yes. Watching Brooke and David walk off. That was it. 
That was painful. I didn't like that. That was really hurtful. That was literally my low light. Seeing Conrad sad, not getting the final rose. Yeah, final that date. That really fucked me up. And he was hurt. Kurt was like, "Oh, you know," but Conrad <laughs> yeah. was like, "Conrad was like, this is not good." No, that yeah, didn't like that. Mm-mm. I have uh, next episode, please. When uh, and we're going straight to Conrad again, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Do you want to go? <sighs> that chat between Conrad and Brooke. Mm-mm. What I have really appreciated this season is that I think we are Honesty. seeing on, yeah more honest. Sorry, I did I could <laughs> no actual like real conversations. Mm. This was very difficult to watch. Oh, because Conrad, he's, he d- he clearly doesn't know what he wants to do after this, Crazy. and that's not a bad thing. But it is clearly incompatible with Brooke. Yes. And as soon as they had that conversation, I was like, oh, no. I was like, Conrad just put the Fuck. nail in his coffin. 100%. That's what I thought as well. I was like, he just ended it. Yeah, he, he didn't even know and he couldn't come back from it either. No. Because she tried to let him come back from yes. it. Yes. And he fucked it further. And I had an interesting thought about this because yes. I was like, I really don't want Conrad to be a Kieran. I really believe that Conrad is a good person who is hopefully not getting a great edit but is actually a trash person. Yeah. But I was like, what if he quit his job? Because he was, you know, hopeful for some kind of media I know, that's what I was thinking as well. And I was like, is that the reason why he can't think of anything? Because the thing he wants to say, he can't say. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I was... I had a bit of a nervous tummy. Yeah. I've got to tell you. (laughs) I had to go to the toilet. I'll tell you that much. I definitely did. I had some ice cream, so you know where I was. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I yeah the the quote I did leave my job just before coming into the mansion mm-hmm. heart sunk mm-hmm. I was like bro what what do you mean because what do you could, mean that could be positive like yeah I you know risked it all to come here but it did not, why like, why would did, you risk oh. it all I was like that would be a red flag for me like you quit your job and you don't know what you're going to do once you get out here yeah. at all. That's the thing. If you quit your job and you were like, because I have this other thing I really want to pursue. Or like, I don't know what I want to pursue, but I have a few ideas in mind. For him to have nothing. no answer. Nothing. Scary. And that's another one for me. Conrad couldn't think of one thing that gives him fulfillment. Not even one thing. Yeah. I was oh, scared. Big, 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 bad, bad, bad. Big. That's all I have. <laughs> Big, 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 bad, <laughs> horrible, no good day. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have from that episode. Oh, I got a few more. Yeah, go on. Um, okay, so actually I had this as a highlight and a low light. Mm. Highlight because it was nice to see it being talked about on TV. But low light, Brooke getting or talking about and getting emotional about her childhood and that she went mm. from home to home. Yeah. Such a different perspective like bachelorette yeah and perspective for us to hear because mm. often we just get even if you know um a person's parents are divorced we still get you know the story that they're like but my family is super supportive blah 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 brooke literally says i don't have family or like yeah, i don't yeah. have parents yeah she yeah. says i don't have parents yeah exactly and i thought it was so I don't, I, th- I don't want to say refreshing, but I just want to say interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's so refreshing. It's so refreshing to see someone without parents. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I understand because I don't have the greatest relationship with my family. Mm-hmm. So it's just so nice when I see that shit in media. It's not like, yes. oh, yeah, like we're all... Everything's fine. We're going to Christmas and, oh, my God, we all have matching Christmas shirts. Yeah. And yeah, I, I can't spend my Christmas without my family and it's like fuck my life then you know what I mean 100% and it's like finally we get like just another I want to say it's normal yes so normal it is and that's the thing it's not you know it's just not the nuclear Mm. kind of representation that I guess we're used to or that society it's not a Holly and Jimmy situation. That's right. But mm. even then, Holly, um, her parents weren't together. And yeah, like, that's true. We did, um, you know, learn about that. But ja- um, Jamie's, okay. James. James's James <laughs> family were very much together. Yes. Uh, last two lowlights from this mm. episode. Millie leaving was a bit sad. You could see mm. that she wanted to cry. Um, but her fashion is impeccable. Yes. So there's a silver lining. <laughs> She looked really fucking hot. Didn't she? Didn't she? I wanted that outfit. Oh. Um, and in the car, 
when our beloved Kurt is leaving. And he says he wish he backed himself more. Uh, I wish you backed it up <laughs> over here, Kurt. <laughs> yeah, that's not what you're going to say. <laughs> oh, Kurtie. Oh, Kurtie. That's Love what you. I'll be saying later. <laughs> 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 All right. Imagine. Oh, Cody. <laughs> Ew. Ah, I hate that. Okay. Don't like it. The hometown <laughs> episode low lights. Yes. Here it is. It is. <laughs> Correct. Conrad. Conrad's dad having a cry. Oh my god. I love that man. I lo- I would die for him. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Uh, he was so funny and then like he was crying and then he was so sad (laughs) he was crying and he had a tissue and then he was like "Mm -hmm. oh I made a bow tie (laughs) (laughs) oh it's like those are my vibes bro what a beautiful man what a beautiful man and you could see like it was so obvious to see where Conrad oh I know got his characteristics from yeah and I it, loved, like, even though he was crying, we love to see it. I, we love to see we it. We love to see we a love, sensitive man. We love to see a man crying. I, I mean, do. what? I do. <laughs> yes. Especially if I've made them cry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm doing something right in the world if yes. a man is crying. Mm-hmm. Another one from you? Another one from me. Um, next low light isn't until David and Brooke. Oh, okay. Well, can I just say yes, another so thing from Conrad's dad? Please. I would do anything for my son. I really would. <laughs> Who can say where the road goes? <laughs> that was nice. Thanks. Let's start a band. <laughs> uh, yeah, go on, David. Uh, I was surprised that David and Brooke haven't had the conversation earlier of potential relocation. I know. Confusing. Because I was like, well, you're clearly winning. Why haven't you guys had that conversation yet? You should have that. You should Come probably on. do that. You've only got 48 hours. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is very confusing. Time is ticking. And interesting, because as I'm sure we're about to discuss, we Mm. get a big bombshell with Holly. Oh. (laughs) Oh, my God. And so I was like, why why have we not had these chats? I was like, Brooke and Conrad have obviously had these chats because Conrad could name the... um, could list the names of the children that Brooke wants to have. Yes. So they've had in-depth conversations. Yeah. Why, David, have you not had the relocation conversation? Yeah, what are you talking about? Interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that's I've got nothing until Holly. Uh, same. All righty. Hey, Holly, what the fuck? Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all we have time for. <laughs> Wrap it on up. <laughs> Holly not saying that she wanted a small family, even though it's been said on multiple occasions by multiple people that Brooke definitely wants three, two biological and one, and one adopted. adopted. We even know I, this. I know this. We know this. And that's from just watching episodes that are like hour long. And the thing is, this tells me that Holly, I think, was keeping that information. Because she didn't want to burst the bubble. That's right. She didn't want to ruin her chances. That's bullshit. And even though I think Holly is a beautiful woman, she's Mm. also a smart woman. Yes. And I I think like that would have that would have been a deal breaker earlier on. (sighs) Isn't that shit? But now we get to the fucking pointy end of it. Mm -hmm. And Brooks as she says, blindsided. Yeah. Because, you know, maybe she can work with having a small family. Maybe. Maybe. But then we it's have... Not what she wants. Then we have Holly saying that she might not want to move to the WA to settle down. Mm-hmm. And that seems like a non-negotiable for Brooke. Yeah. As was the kids. The thing is, though, mm-hmm. that did feel like new information. That was new information. Because Holly was like, I didn't realise that was your plan because Brooke had just moved to Melbourne. Yeah. So I think that's understandable that yeah. it's like, oh, I didn't realise you actually, you know, in the future, WA is where you would like to see yourself. Yeah. I think that's fair that it's like, a, oh, that's a that's some new game-changing info. The yeah. kid situation, not new. Not new. Not new. You knew. Exactly. I think, yeah, it's... Uh, you... <laughs> You might be able to get over the kids thing or you might be able to get over the WA thing, but not together. Mm-mm. Not together. Yeah. You know, and plus the WA thing, it's like, well, 
I don't know where I'm going to be in 15 years. I could really want to move to the outback. That's it. I think, you know, like there's so much time, 10 yeah. to 15 years. Yeah. You change so much. Yeah, exactly. That that I don't think is as big as a deal breaker. As kids. Brooke is so certain on what she wants in a family. Mm. She's like she's got her head on her shoulders. She knows what she wants now. Yeah. And she's after it. That's why she took this so seriously. And that's why everyone else is taking this so seriously. Yes. Holly, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. I was uh, annoying. Not it. Not it. Um, and then my final low light is Brooke just like in tears. Mm. But we couldn't even see it. Just the sound of her mm. like breaking down. Mm. And I was like, man, I don't like that because you can hear that she's like devastated. Really fucking annoying. She's isn't like, it? damn, that's that's new information for her she th- i think that's the moment she realized it wasn't going to be holly mm. if she was considering holly it wasn't going to happen which was so sad yes and then my last one mm. conrad oh. say goodbye <laughs> to conrad. <laughs> goodbye i cried friend. did you yeah I did, did i cry i can't remember no that was this morning no i didn't cry because he was so again like kurt very gentleman they were like, I really, really hope the best for you and that it works out. Also, when she said, who did she say? Who was the last one to get a rose? Holly. Holly left. No, Holly's Holly still there. Holly stayed. Yes. So Holly, got, Holly was Correct. the last one to get a rose. Um, and then uh, they're standing there and Brooke, she mouths, I'm sorry, and Kurt winks at her. <sighs> I would like to unalive. <laughs> Nice. Uh, <laughs> Gina, uh, we're coming up to the final week. I know. What's happening? What's going to happen? David's winning. Obviously. Obviously. Yes. You know what I think would be cruel? What? If Jamie Lee won. <laughs> She's not winning. <laughs> that's why it would be cruel. I think it would be cruel to take her to the top two, but I reckon that's what's going to happen. I'm feeling that too. Because that short we see is I explosive know. between Holly and Brooke. You can't come back from that. I'm confused. Yeah. Well, it obviously just goes, they have another talk. Yes. About <laughs> <laughs> about the situation yes. and it turns really fucking bad. Mm. And Holly goes home, I reckon. What if they show us that and then Holly doesn't go home? Well, Holly's not winning. Well, Holly's not winning. I just think at least if Holly goes to the top two, at least Jamie Lee gets spared because Jamie mm. Lee has Jamie no Lee's idea. Jamie Lee's invested. Yeah, Jamie Lee has no idea she's not it. No, she thinks this, this is the like her be-all and end-all. I just don't see it. I don't no. think they were ever meant to be together. The first date, or no, not the first date, the first night, <laughs> when they had their kiss, I was like, oh, Whoa, that, that's some there's, hectic. There's something there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, now no, it's no. like, absolutely not. No. It's not meant to be. No, even on the outside, I reckon if they dated maybe for a month or two, they would have realised, nah. Yeah, I think they'd have like a lot of um, sexual, physical chemistry initially and then be like, okay, well, I'm glad we got that out of our system. See ya. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Heck, so David. David. Well, this is great news for us, Gina, because it means one of us gets Conrad <laughs> and the other gets Kurt. I'll tell you what, though. David mm. lives in Brisbane. Doesn't and he? his mum mm. said he has a business. Yes. That's so does this mean Brooke's moving to Brisbane? Are we going to be best friends with Brooke? I think so. <gasps> that's nice. Memories. But she'd be so much more attractive than us all the time. Fuck, that's no, right. I don't... I, is it? They can. She can introduce us to her hot friends. <gasps> She'll still know Kurt and Conrad because they're going to meet up for coffee and exactly. then we can date. Yes. I like that. Hey, Brooke, just so you know, I know people at some trendy hotels in <gasps> Brisbane. Give me a message. Yes. I'll sort you out. Nice. I'm so excited for our for future. For a price. <laughs> The price is love. Yeah. Okay. For last before, look, David, though. Yes, please. He lives in Brisbane. Okay. Brooke just moved to Melbourne. Yes. I think long term it's not going to work out because David has a business in Brisbane. If he didn't have the business, it would be fine. Mm-hmm. But I think if Brooke moves up to Brisbane, she won't like it because she knows no one up here. Yeah. And either way, she'll want to move back to WA eventually. And mm. what's David going to do? Mm. Move his business? Move his family? No. Heck. You know, I don't think long term it'll work out. Maybe Brooke will change her mind in 10 years. I don't think so. Well? 
<laughs> All right, Gina. Yeah, go on. What? Where do the people send their fan mail? They send it to <laughs> lovebatchley at gmail.com. We're swimming in it. Oh, man. The Gushing. inbox is something else. <laughs> um, and if people want to send slide into our DMs, they can do that via... Uh, Instagram, yes. lovebatchley, and uh, Kurt. Conrad. Oh. oh, speaking of Conrad, now we can say it. Oh, yes. He and Abby Chatfield are 100% fucked. Oh, yeah. I've got on. I've got that on the record. <laughs> Gina has evidence. I have evidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The evidence is my mind. <laughs> and my mind is 100% accurate. Yes. And look, if, if Abby, if sh- he's good enough for Abby Chatfield, it's good enough for me. Oh, yeah. And I reckon, you know, it. I actually don't know if he'd fuck good, but... <laughs> I, I'm willing to such figure it out. <laughs> in dumb sentence. <laughs> yes, I know. The structure of that was... I just don't care anymore. Like, you know what I said? You know what I mean? That's how I feel about texting as well. It's like, you knew what I meant, so who so gives a fuck? why are we questioning it? Get yeah. off my back. And it's not like I'm submitting an essay, am I? You're not my mom. You're not my teacher. Don't don't tell me that's how the I I that's not how gram, grammar works. This is the end, Gina. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Amy. It's been a pleasure. All right. <laughs> Remember, we're two gals here for the right reasons. <laughs>